Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am your host, Dennis Makua. Thanks for tuning in. And today, I've got a very, very nice, funny video for you guys. And I'm hoping you guys are going to learn something from this whole video. So, seven or eight years ago, I was a student at some university whose name I won't mention because I don't want to embarrass them. And uh, so what had happened was we had, you know, the defense force come to the campus. And essentially what they were trying to do is they were trying to recruit uh, students for the reservist services, if that's what they call whatever they're called. Yeah. So how the program was going to work was that you would be, you as a student would be trained during school holidays. The whole thing was synchronized between like, you know, school holidays and military, blah, blah. So the thing is, you'd be, you'd be a student during, during, I mean, they wouldn't interrupt your school calendar at all. So, but it's when, whenever, you know, school holidays started, you would go over to the military and you'd do training, you would do, you'd become a proper soldier or a military man or navy man or whatever, serviceman, whatever. Anyway, so we went, me and my friends got invited and we went there of course and we're like, look at us, we are tough, you know, we are macho. I mean, of course, it's, not, it's gonna be like little things, you know, it's gonna be like a walk in the park for us. So we all signed up, you know, these guys explained how the whole program works and we're like, we're gonna sign up, we all signed up. And of, of all our, you know, like my circle of friends, I was the only person that got called for like, you know, a physical education test or whatever it's called. And then I was like, you know, they sent me an SMS on a Friday and they were like, you should come on a Monday, which was a school holiday. Oh, sorry, not school, which was a school day. It wasn't a school holiday, it was a school day. And they were like, you need to show up, go to some, some we're gonna pick you up at some station somewhere. So you need to be there at like seven o'clock in the morning. And which I, I found it odd because what they said two days ago, they were like, were like no, it's not going to disrupt your, you know, your normal working school schedule. But it did. But anyway, anyway I was like, hey, it's an opportunity that I won't miss. So I, on that Monday, I took a taxi, I was a student, took a taxi to the station and the weather was horrendous of the day. You know, you know it, it was raining, it was, it was thunder everywhere. It was just horrible. I think it's so okay. I, I make it there at like I make it there at like five past or seven past seven or like five or seven minutes late, and then the taxi drops me off there, and I'm like, okay, where ex where exactly? Because the station is so big, I not I do not know exactly where the pickup point was. So then there I was running around. I mean, uh, mind you, it's raining. I mean, I'm drenched now in rainwater. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm running around, you know. I didn't even know what I was looking for. So I was running around, running, running around, running, running around in the rain and stuff. I didn't even have an umbrella. So eventually, I mean, at like 20 minutes later or so, I'm like, you know what? I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't even know what I'm doing here. So I might as well just go back home, take a bath, go to class, you know, attend the rest of the classes that, you know what? I, I mean, I've, I've missed out on, on such a good opportunity. But I was pissed at the same time thinking, these guys have messed with me. So then I just take a random route. I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna go that way. I walk a few meters and probably like 700 meters or so. And then guess what? I bump into the Defense Forces offices. I'm like, what? This can't be real. So, I, and the thing is, that the best part is they were open. The offices were open. I walk in there and I'm like, there were three people there. There was uh, the cleaning lady, the security guard. It was still early in the morning, so you know. So, cleaning lady, security guard, and some other random person. I can't remember the dude, but they were there. So then I head immediately to the reception, and then I, I find the security guard there. And then so I explained to him, you know, that, you know what, okay, I'm supposed to be going to this training course with the military and stuff and stuff. Before I could even finish, the guy was like, bruv, these guys just left two seconds ago. 
So you need to run back to wherever you came from because the bus is probably already there picking up some potent, prospective students and stuff. You know what, people? I do not even have time to say, to thank the guy or to say goodbye. I just ran out you know, as quickly as I could. But now here's the funny bit. The funny bit, was, well, the embarrassing bit for me, was that the, the glass, the doors were made of glass, you know. So, I mean, everything from pillar to pillar was just glass. So, I mean, when I walked in, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize that everything was made of glass. And it's just clean glass. So when I was running out, I ran directly into a closed glass door. And you know what, I shit you not, I felt the whole building vibrating. Because, you know, I'm not much of a runner, but you know what, I, I ran so fast because I was like, you know what, I want, this is an opportunity that I cannot pass up. So I ran so fast, and you know what, the whole building, I'm, not su I'm surprised to this day as to how the building did not collapse. Because when I hit that glass door, you know, with my lip, you know, head first, my lip, I mean, I, I swear, I, I felt the whole building vibrating. And then, you know, it was so violent, the impact that, you know, the cleaning lady had to stop whatever she, she was doing, cleaning, that, you know, she came over to me and she was like, you're bruv, I'm so sorry. Like, do you need anything? I was like, lady, I'm out of time. I need to run back to where I came from. You just heard that, you know, the military is already there. So I ran out and then I started running. I was jogging back, backwards. And guess what? I mean, I was bleeding and I didn't have a bandage or tissue paper or nothing. So I ran back to the station, another few, few hundred meters or so, and I get there. I get there and it's still raining a bit. But you know what? I mean, now it's even more chaotic. There's so many people. I don't even know where to go to now. And I mean, I couldn't, I looked around and I couldn't find anything. So, and then I gave up. I was like, you know what? It's an opportunity missed, but I was like, hey, you know what? I tried. So I tried out. So I mean, I was like, you know what? I, I walked around a bit, looked around, and then I was certain that you know what? I mean, I'd missed that bus. So then I walked back, like a few minutes. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna walk back to my flat. I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna go back to school. Do what my parents had sent me to that town to do to begin with, study and stuff. So I got, I got to the flat take a bath, go to campus, and then of course my friends, since they hadn't been called, were already there, and they were like, bruv, tell us everything. Yeah, I tell them like, you guys, this thing, this thing, this happened, and they were laughing their asses out, thinking, you know, saying like, you know what, this, this other one even said, I bet you that uh, that footage, they're gonna, they're gonna preserve it there at the, the defense force base whatever it's called such that you know whenever they're trying to entertain new staff members they're just going to use that footage of you bumping into that glass door and because it's so you know it's, think about it a man so well built and stuff running into a glass door it's it's embarrassing but it's funny yeah i know that and i was like yeah i was so embarrassed though i mean but you know I, and i was so hurt at the time i was so even though i was laughing but inside deep down inside i was like you know what I am so hurt by this whole experience that, you know what, I mean, I don't think I'll ever join the military or do anything military related. But here I am, seven years later, I'm sharing this with you guys, and I don't even know you, the rest of you, like most of you, but I'm sharing this video with you because I realized there's actually a lesson to learn from this whole ordeal for all of us. So the whole thing at the time, it felt like, you know, such a terrible thing that now, seven years, seven years later, I can laugh about it. I can share it with you guys. We can turn the whole thing into the joke that my friends saw back then. To me, it didn't feel like a joke. It felt like, you know what, my life is ruined. But the truth is, it, it wasn't. It was just a bad experience that I was going through. But to me, it felt like the end of the world. So... What I want you guys to learn from this whole experience is, I know it's a short thing, but what, I, what I've learned seven years later is that, you know what, things again, things won't always go the way you want. I, I mean, I've said this before, so 
whenever you know you whatever situation you're going through right now just know that you know what one day you're going to get out of it and you're going to look look at the whole thing and think what the fuck was i thinking i mean this whole thing you're going to realize the humor in the whole thing you know it's you're going to think you know there's absolutely no way i would have felt this but i mean back then when i was going through the whole thing i felt like you know what i might as well kill myself because of this whole thing is so embarrassing and you know it, it felt i felt like i was in hell I mean, look at me now. I'm, I find it. I find humor in the whole thing. And the thing is, the best part is my friends found humor straight away, and I didn't see it. So I'm only seeing it like now, seven years later. So what I'm saying is to you, whatever bad situation you might be going through right now, just know that you know what. It's not as bad as you think. And I'm, I guarantee you. A few months, a few weeks, a few years from now, you're going to look back at this whole situation and think, I, I wasted so much of my energy thinking about this whole thing, which is so absolutely hilarious. Why didn't I see the human in this whole thing? So, yeah, that's our message for the day. So, guys, thank you so much. And uh, like I said, I'm Dennis Magua, and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. It's all Dennis Magua, Dennis Magua, Dennis Magua. So, Follow me and uh, I will follow you back and yeah, you know what, it's, it's, subscribe as well, just subscribe to this channel, I mean, just like this video if you like it and if you've learned anything and if you've gone through a bad experience and you know like reach the same conclusion as I have that you know what, there's actually some humor in it, post it down in the, in, in the comment below and let's start a discussion in, in the comments there. Yeah, so that's all for today. So guys, I absolutely appreciate the support. So share this video with your friends. Don't be scared to, you know, like, do whatever. Share it uh, on your social media platforms, whatever. I mean, I appreciate it. So don't don't be shy. I know it's, it's, but if you feel that, you know, this could be beneficial to someone that you like, share it, absolutely share it. And yeah, I love you all. So this is Dennis, bye-bye.